The Blissey Spotlight Terror event is back in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details in today's video as well as the best Pokemon for you to take into this raid so you can easily farm this in your games. So running alongside this 7 star Typhlosion Terror Raid event this weekend, the Blissey Spotlight Terror Raid event will be back for its second time round, giving us one of the best ways to farm Terror Shards and level up candies that we've seen in the game so far. So you're going to want to take advantage of this event while you've got the chance. If we hop over to our trusty source at Cerebi, you can see the last time this ran, it was the 24th of March to the 26th, but this time round it will be running as of recording this video from the 21st of April over the weekend to the 23rd and of course it goes without saying if you want to keep this event in your game to farm these terror raid events even longer don't go online after this event finishes on the 23rd as long as you stay offline you will keep this event in your game as soon as you do go online though this event will disappear if it is after this date so in total there are eight different blissies that can appear they all have various random terror types they're all going to be five stars set to level 75 with their hidden abilities being possible the moves that they're going to have are heal pulse last resort soft boiled and seismic toss so nothing really to worry about from these from an offensive point of view you're going to be able to deal with these pretty quickly now six of the blissies will give item drops of around 25 to 30 terror shards per terror raid event you'll get a majority of terror shards which are tied to the terror type of the blissey that you face in that raid event then obviously they will be random terror types so say if this blissey here is a grass terror type you're likely to get more grass terror shards than you are anything else but you will also get an array of different terror shards as well to go with it and as you can see for these six blissies here they all give out around the same amount of terror shards around that 25 30 mark and on top of that you're going to get a bunch of level up candies as well you're going to get xl candies large candies and rare candies as well so this not only a good event for terror shards like i've mentioned it is a great event for level up candies as well now the other two blissies that are featured in this terror raid are the big ones that are going to give you no level up candies but they're going to give you up to 60 plus terror shards per terror raid and they will give you an array of all the different types all in all you're looking at about a 25 percent chance to get one of these raid event dens where you're going to get the 60 plus terror raid shards and the rest of the time it'll be a 75% where you'll encounter just these regular blissies where you'll get about up to 25 to 30 terror shards plus the level up candies. These are the details of the blissey raid. It will be running over this weekend. If you want to keep it in your game, just don't go online after the 23rd and you'll be able to just farm these forevermore. Now there are a lot of Pokemon that you can take into these blissey raid event dens and have great success with. They're not the hardest of raids, but I have been using Ursa Ring. I used it the last time around and it pretty much with its cover coverage hit every single type of blissey with no problems at all i didn't have a single issue with running this ursa ring or beating any of the previous terror types and doing it very very quickly so the ursa ring that we're featuring here is a normal type it has the normal terror typing though you'll never really have to terrestrialize in a battle held item is the flame orb and then we have the guts ability we have the move set of belly drum crunch close combat and facade that gives you perfect coverage against any of the different terror types that you're going to come across with blissey basic premise of this is just a belly drum turn one and then utilize whatever attack is more beneficial for the terror type that you're facing of the blissey the next turn and that'll be enough to probably pick up the one shot because these are just five star raids they're nothing too strong and you'll be able to kind of just blow them away because blissey's defense is so low anyway ev spread on this ursa ring is 252 hp 252 attack with an adamant nature and that is all you're going to need for this raid if you want to use the ursa ring like i say i had a lot of success with it using it last time around cleared many maps of the terror raid events with this ursa ring against many different blissies and never had a problem one shotting them all the way and it was easy as that so this is a great build it will be down in the description below if you want to take a closer look at it for yourselves of course if you don't want to build the ursa ring things like iron hands and eye lip will all do just as good a job against the blissey raid now to get it in your game if you don't know already just come down to your poker portal you just need to connect to the internet but you can also come down to mystery gifts and then check poker portal news this will connect you to the internet anyway and that is all you're going to want to do and once you've done that you'll get this 
message pop up and all your terror raid event dens in the area will be updated you can then just disconnect from the internet and then check your map for the spotlight terror raid events and the terror raid spotlight events will be identifiable with this white glowing aura around them and you'll get a variety of different terror types around your area they'll all be the five star blissy raid events and of course you've got that typhlosion event as well right there so we've got one really close to us by and I'll show you how good the Ursa Ring can perform. So once you've found the den, you want to just come into it, challenge it with the Ursa Ring. And the nice thing about these Terror Raids is they give such good item drops, but they're so quick to complete. Really quick raids to run through. And you can run through the map in about 45 minutes and do all of the Terror Raid Spotlight events in that amount of time. So like I said, turn one, what we're going to want to do with the Ursa Ring is just go for the Belly Drum. Like we mentioned in the preview, you don't need to worry about anything offensively from the Blissey. It's not really ever going to be threatening the knockout. You just want to hit that belly drum. Once you've done that, of course, after this turn, you'll have your HP and the Flame Orb will activate. So the Guts ability will be activated on top of maxing out your attack stat. There we go. There's a Seismic Toss. Nothing to worry about too much. There's a the Flame Orb activating and the next turn, because this is a Fairy type, you probably want to go for the Facade here because you don't want to go for the other attacks that are going to be kind of resisted. And there we go. It's as easy as that. And we'll see what item drops we get from the Blissey. And we've got about 23 in total with a bunch of rare candies, the large candies, and then the XL candies down the bottom as well. So a really good haul. And this is what you can expect from most of the Terror Raid events when you come into these raids with the Blissey. So if you are farming these items and you run through all of the Spotlight Terror Raid events in your area, what you can do to respawn some new ones is just come into your haul menu, then down into system settings down into system then down into date and time make sure your synchronized clock by the internet is off then you want to just click into your date and time like this and just toggle all the way through click ok and then hit your home menu and come back into game and all your dens will respawn as you can see they all change places there and you've got a brand new set of spotlight terror Raid events to run through and do this all over again so with the ursa ring you're going to have an easy time going through it hits all of the 18 types pretty well throughout this event and as i say with the guts boost with that belly drum on top of it you're going to be knocking out the blissey pretty easily and farm these events super easily in your game I hope you found today's video useful. If you have, please drop a like and do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. Have a lot of fun with this event over the weekend. It is a great one for farming these Terra Shards that are quite difficult to get otherwise outside of this event. So take advantage of it while you can. Have a great event. Hope you have a great weekend with these Terror Raid events and also the Global Challenge number two that is running. If you're taking part, good luck in that. And I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.